We spoke to him just last year in one of his final TV interviews, and I will tell you, it was quite an interview, as always, with T. Boone Pickens. T. Boone Pickens was born May 22nd, 1928 in Holdenville, Oklahoma. He built one of the largest independent natural gas oil companies in the country. But before becoming an oil tycoon, he attended Oklahoma State University. It's obvious that I have a deep feeling for the school. We talked to him less than a year ago at his ranch in West Texas. Pickens has given more than 500 million to OSU and the fans have a deep appreciation for Boone. People, they consider me being one of them. Many call it the house that Boone built. The OSU football stadium now bears his name. Well, when you look, see your name on, on the stadium and you know that you have built some big things. But what about the house that built Boone? I grew up in Holdenville. The Holdenville house, now a stark contrast from Boone's Mesa Vista Ranch. The 100 square mile property has four houses, a pub, lakes, a chapel, a movie theater, and a staff of about 20 people. My grandmother said, I don't want you to ever forget where you came from. I remember that. I haven't forgotten. It has now come full circle. His home of humble beginnings now sits in the heart of Stillwater. It's been a great life. And started out in Holdenville. His grandma gave Boone lots of advice, and several of his famous Booneisms came from her. What's your favorite Booneism? Higher the monkey climbs the tree, more people can see his ass. <laughs> I don't know if we can use that, but I like it. Boone's grandma, not the only one to give him advice. T. Boone Sr. was concerned his college-age son wasn't on the best path. He said, I have something serious to talk to you about. A fool with a plan can beat a genius with no plan. After that, Boone, now determined to have a plan, enrolled in the geology program at then Oklahoma A&M, now OSU. That geology college now bears his name as well. When asked what he is most proud of, he told us this. I'd have to give that some thought because I've had so many victories and enjoyed life and, and everything was good to me. The family tells us that T. Boone Pickens passed away from natural causes. And tonight we are hearing from some of the most influential people at Oklahoma State University, including head football coach Mike Gundy, what he is saying tonight about how Boone literally changed the game when it came to OSU sports. <laughs>